same air brush, the same air pressure, the same reduction as before, but now we're working on a non-porous surface. Before I was working on Pellon. This is now a little mini hood made of metal. Get my air going. Let's see how these lines work out. Works beautifully on metal at the same ratio. Let's go ahead and push it now, and let's see if we reduce it even further, will we get better lines or worse lines? Let's see what it does. That's how you know how to set your own reductions when you're working on your own projects at home. All right, let's add just enough of this material so we would essentially have a one-to-one -one ratio for when we first began. So it would be 100% reduced. Notice how soft and smooth my blends can be here. Come back away and just really softly blend this and create that nice tone. I notice that I'm getting nice rich black still. It's smoother looking now than what it was over here. This is a little bit grainy, even though that seemed to be okay before. It's getting much more easy to control here. And I'm getting nice fine lines with no spread. So I'd say this is working pretty good at a one-to-one -one ratio. All right, off camera, I've actually poured about half of the material out that was in this bottle so that I'll be able to reduce it dramatically. What I want to do is I want to try to make this paint break. I want to try to make it skate or, or uh, you know, not stick right where I point it. Let's see how far we can take this out. I'm going to fill this bottle the rest of the way with reducer. All right, armed with over-reduced paint, let's see if we can make this stuff break. I'm still getting lines, but they're real soft and transparent. I get little bitty fine lines. But if I push it, I get this. Okay, see how the paint is skating? along the edges here. Kind of looks like uh, caterpillar legs. This is undesirable unless you're wanting to create an effect. Back in the 60s when they used to paint vans, this was called freak drops. And it was actually a pretty popular custom trick on a van to do a whole panel just like this. Talk about brainlessly easy. Just over reduce your paint and you got freak drops. All right, if we come back to the Pellon, that absorbent material, let's give a shot with 800% reduced paint on that and see if we still get those freak drops. Nope. <laughs> Matter of fact, we get an amazingly controllable paint. You get itty bitty, teeny tiny lines. I don't even know if the camera can pick up how small these lines are. I'm using a bottom-fed Eclipse, and I'm getting amazing lines with it. If I really crank the paint out, like I was making the freak drops, I'm still not getting the crawl. I'm getting a soft halo around the edge of these dots, but I'm just really getting very controllable, nice dots. So, this paint's still not broken <laughs> when it comes to working on T-shirts or... Uh, you know, uh, other non porous surfaces like, like leather or uh, maybe paper or um, wood. So you could take this paint, imagine how far you can take a, a quart of paint, you know, if you can reduce it 800%. It's like having eight quarts.